So let's just, uh, now think about MR logic and BOM, Bureau Material Problems. You can find those problems in worksheet in D2L chapter website, uh, chapter 9 website. Okay. Uh, we will consider this BOM problem without lead time consideration. We can consider lead time later on, but assuming that there is no lead time, uh, we can solve this BOM problem. As you know, the, you know, to order the certain product components and part, we have to really consider lead time because we cannot receive the certain items or components and part today if we order them today. It sometimes it takes a couple of days or the week or even more than a week. But let's consider BOM without lead time consideration. So here is the product M, which is end item. An end item is made up of un two unit of N and three unit of P. And it really describes the how end item M looks like. So what kind of items, what kind of you know component parts are required to produce end item M. It will lead to to make a bit of Bit of material or product structure tree. And next question involves if 100 AMs are required, how many units of each component are needed? So it will determine, we have to really calculate based on the demands of end item. So starting with, you know, first question show the bit of materials or product structure tree. So starting with end item M, and it, it made of two units of N. 3 in the P. So 2N and then 3P. And then N is made of 2 units of R and 4 units of S. So we can draw like this. Then we can skip R first. And then P is made of 2 units of R, T and 4 units of U. And then last one is R is made of, of made of Two, one unit of S and three unit of T. So we can draw like this. This is the BOM or product structure tree. It really describes how end item M looks like. This is level zero all the way to level three. Highest level all the way to lowest level. Now, let's think about if M, 100 M are required, how many units of each component are needed? For example, if you know the end item demands of end item M, how many components and parts are required? We have to calculate based on this BOM. So suppose we know 100 M are required, and starting with N and P, N requires the 2 M and P requires a 3M, right? Because of, based on this BOM structure. So two times 100 is 200M, three times 100 is 300P. So in order to produce M, 100M, 200N, 300P should be produced before producing the 100M. And so on and so forth. So go at R is 2N. So 2 times 200 is 400. So 400 R are required to produce N. Then we produce M. But some items, some parts are used more than once. Let's look at S and T. S are required to make a N and to make a R. T are required to make a P and to make a R. So here S requires 4N, right? 4N plus S requires 1R. So 4 times 200 plus 1 times R 400, which is a 1200. Similarly, T equals 2P plus 3R, 3R. So 2 times 300 plus 3 times 400, which is 1800. Final item U 
equals 4p. So 4 times 300 equals 1200. So if we know the number of end item m, we can calculate those components and assemblies. This is the independent dimension item, this is the dependent dimension items. Let's go to the another problem. For example, product A has the, these uh, components, sub-assemblies and, you know, <coughs> those parts. And question is to produce 100 units of A, determine the numbers of units of B all the way to H required. Again, without lead time consideration. So 100 item and item A, so in this case, we don't have to draw the BOM product structure tree. We directly, we can calculate how many items are required based on 100A. 100A, you know, A requires to consist of two unit of sub-assembly B, three unit of C, and one unit of D. So we can directly find out B equals 2A, 3 equals 3A, which is 200 and 300. But D equals not only 1A, but also D is used to make a C, right? So 1A plus 3C, because C is made up three three unit of D. So D equals 1A plus 3C, so it equals 1,000 units. And let's go to the E. E also requires the B is composed of three unit of E, which is 3B, plus H is made of four unit of E, so four, four H, four H, right? But since we do not know H, we have to calculate H. But we know B, so three times 200, but we don't know H yet. So if we calculate H first, H is made of four unit of E and two unit of C, G. I'm sorry. You have to look at this. C is made of two unit of H. So H is two C. Since we know C, which is the 300, H is 600. So if we plug in here, three times 200 plus four times 600, which is just 3000, is the E. And F is the B is composed of four units of F, so 4B, so four times 200 is 800. Finally, G equals two unit of, you know, H is two unit of G. So G equals to two H, with two times 600, which is 1200. So if you know the end item A, number of end item A, then you can calculate sub-assemblies and part. Caution need to be paid on those D and E, which can be used more than once. Next problem, I will explain the BOM with lead time consideration. You will see this is much more complex than this problem. Okay, thank you.